Hi everyone and welcome to Olivia Rose Floral Designs. Today I will be making this beautiful pineapple floral display. Yes, pineapple. I'm using a real pineapple. Some beautiful gerberas, bright pink, orange, yellow, with these gorgeous green chrysanthemums and some ruscus just for a touch of foliage. So I'll show you how to do this. It's very simple, so please enjoy. Okay, so first of all, we start with our pineapple. Um, and all you simply do is lay him down and you slice off the top about an inch, maybe just under an inch in. And then you need to take out all the pineapple from the middle. So, for those of you who remember Blue Peter, here's one I made earlier. So as you can see, I've gutted as much as I can out of the pineapple, um, just so we can get the oasis in. Okay, so now we have our prepped pineapple. It's gutted as much as we can. It's, you know, you don't have to be exact. We've got lots of different shapes and it's not gone right to the edge because otherwise the um, pineapple juice will leak if you, if you cut through the outer layer. Um, in advance, I prepped some oasis last night. Again, you cut a block and then you just slice the sides off until it fits. But due to the pineapple juice, and we don't want this killing the flowers, I'm popping my oasis into a sandwich bag, like so, after I've soaked it. So these are soaked pieces of oasis cut down to size and then put into a sandwich bag. I then pop this into my pineapple, give it a good push to get as much in as you can. And then I just simply poke. So you see lots of water coming out and I poke the plastic bag as far to the edge as I can without going right in so the juice can leak inside it. So you'll see lots of water coming out so I'm just going to get rid of some excess water until you have something looking like that. So now it's time to add the flowers. So the, the dominant flower here is the yellow gerbera. Um, the theme is tropical and we've gone for lots of yellows and I just thought the pink and the orange would just brighten it up and give it that extra colour. So first of all I'm going to find a nice big one. I'm just going to cut it down to size. And remember, the taller the flower, the more flowers that you'll need for your arrangement. So I'm just going to go in at the top. And then I'm going to cut another one down. So they're probably about two and a half inches long at the moment. And I'm just going to put four around the edge like so. No, it doesn't have to be an exact, it's, it's, a, it's not like a red wedding arrangement where the measurements are more exact and the shape is more formal. This one's quite relaxed, it's fun, it's tropical, it's bright, it's in a pineapple, you know, so it's not as exact. So again, so, and you'll see they're all pointing in different directions, which is also fine, because Gerber is, um, have a mind of their own and I won't be wiring these. Whereas in a floral bouquet, I would wire these gerberas so they stood upright and they didn't droop because they do have a tendency to droop. So there's my five gerberas, one on top and four around the edge. And I'm now gonna go for my other colors. So I'm gonna go for the pink next. So again, about two, two and a half inches. And I'm gonna go for a gap in between the two yellow. So I'm going to put two pink and then two orange in. And as they are curved, I'm kind of curving them downwards. So as you can see for this one, it's it curves to my right. So I'm going to put that on the right hand side of the arrangement so it curves down giving us that lovely dome shape. I'm now going to go for some orange ones. Again, curving downwards, like so. And I try and put them into the oasis so they're kind of even. And as you can see on this one, he tends to droop when I let go of him, which is absolutely fine because that's where the chrysanthemums come in and the ruscus, and we can start to, to manoeuvre the flowers and, and make sure they sit properly. Okay, another orange one. 
These also have very soft stems, so be very careful when you're inserting them into your aces because a few of them I've had to throw away because they've snapped or they've got a bit crushed. Okay, so I now have my yellows, my two pink and my two orange. So what I now want to do, as these, as these are slightly higher than the four yellow ones, I'm going to put a pink one under the orange and an orange under the pink. So again, put this in here. And I've done exactly what I've just said and I've snapped one. <laughs> so very, very easy to do. So I'm going to go around now and do this just so I have the additional four colours. And again, don't worry because these ones are touching, but these other flowers will hold them up so they separate them again. And if you're finding you get to a stage like I have where I want him to go in further but he won't, just simply take him out, snip a bit more off, and insert him in the same hole and he sits so much firmer and nicer that way so don't force them if they're not going in because they will snap and you may want to push the other ones in further so they align neatly and evenly Okay, so there you can see starting to get a little bit more fuller and some of these original ones I just want to trim them down a bit. Just so they sit neater together. Okay, so now I'm going to add some Roscus and again with our Roscus we only need small snippets. So don't have the mindset that you can only use the top part. You can cut these down and use the other parts of the leaf from the foliage. And I'm just going to start adding these in around my bouquet. Just so they discreetly poke through. Okay, so on this one, he's quite leafy at the top, so I'm going to pop him there. And then what I tend to do is, as you see it, I, I chop it as close to the leaf as I possibly can. And then I will chop the next one to the top of a leaf where I want it to stop. So I have something that looks like that. And it's just enough room to pop in the oasis. And I'm going to work my way around the bottom of the pineapple floral display. So it's just at the top of the pineapple but under the flowers. So if you can see here, I'm going to pop it in there. And then what I'll do is I'll twist the leaf and gently lift with my finger a gerbera so the gerbera sits on top of the leaf, like so. So you can see those, oh, sorry for the noise. So you can see those three leaves with the gerbera sat on top. And I'm going to make my way all the way around the top of the pineapple. Because you have to remember when people sit down, they will see it at eye level. So you want to make sure the bag and the pineapple are slightly covered at the top. So I'm just going to make my way around. Okay, so for now I'm going to leave the foliage and I'm going to move on to the chrysanthemums. These are quite sturdy little flowers, so they're quite nice to pop in. So I pop them about four inches, three or four inches, 
and then I'm just going to go around my arrangements and fill in the gaps with them. So I'll go down here as well. You can see they just give that really nice green effect and it just breaks up all the really bold colours from the gerberas. You can even add more gerberas in a moment. So let's see how we get on with these ones. And you can see they will come in different sizes. So we have the smaller ones and the larger ones. So I tend to go for the larger ones on top and as we start to go around the edge. And you can pop them in between the gerbils. And because they're quite firm stems, they go in really easily and nicely. I have a gap here, so I'm gonna go for another gerbra and I think a yellow one as its own colour. And then I'm going to go for another Jabra here as well. And I'm going to go for another pink. And as you can see, as the oasis gets fuller, it's more difficult to push in those flowers. That's it. Keep working your way around until you're happy all the gaps are filled in. So I'm going to go for another pink gerber on here. Okay. I'm go for another geranium around the back. And then chrysanthemum. Okay, so I've gone round and I think I've filled in all the gaps. Um, I'm sorry for the wind noises, but it's just working on site. You can't control the weather and, and other sounds. Um, I've worked all my way round and I'm quite happy with how this is now looking. And yeah, another beautiful display. So I think I've only got six more to do now. And I will add some photos at the end of the actual displays as the evening goes on, showing you how pretty and effective they look.